Welcome to Triple T. I'm Tim Booth, the CDL instructor here at Tooele Technical College, one of the best kept secrets in Tooele County. This week's email comes from Bruised and Confused, and Bruised and Confused writes, last week I was driving down Main Street and quickly changed lanes from the left to the right lane and stopped at the stoplight. The next thing I know is that my back seat is now my front seat. I was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Why did the truck not stop in time? Well, bruised and confused, there's a couple of factors that could come into play there. And that could be, was the driver distracted? Did he or she not see you? And two, did you give him enough braking distance or did you shorten that braking distance when you changed lanes? So let's talk about braking distance. The braking distance is different between a car and a truck. And it's actually pretty huge when it comes to that difference. So your car weighs three to 4,000 pounds, driving at 65 miles an hour in good conditions on a nice sunny day, um, dry pavement. It's gonna take you from the time you step on the brake to the time the car stops, roughly 316 feet to stop. That's basically a football field in a few feet, okay? Now, if we take the truck, for instance, that hits you, and we say it's loaded at 80,000 pounds, which is its maximum, maximum legal limit, and we go do the same conditions, nice sunny day, dry pavement, doing 65 miles an hour, from the time that the driver pushes on the brake pedal till the time the truck stops is over 525 feet. That's nearly two football lengths before it can actually get stopped. So with that, to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna go into the classroom here, at the college, into the CDL classroom, and show you a demonstration. So for our demonstration here, we're gonna show you the difference in the stopping distance between a semi-truck and a car. So I actually snuck into Mailbag's house and borrowed his toys. I don't know what's going on in that room, but Man, you got some weird stuff. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, your mom said I could, so, you know, it's okay. Let's, let's do this, okay? All right, we got the, 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 the semi truck, and we've got our car, and we're gonna start out at the same spot, all right? We're gonna be cruising down the road. Get on my way. No, you get on my way, mailbag. No, you get out of my way. And we have to stop, and the truck goes about two and a half times the distance that a car would stop at. So you can see as our truck stopped, it actually went farther than the car. So, but here's a better video that actually shows our the college's tr truck and a pickup truck driving side by side doing the same demonstration. Just remember that they're uh, only doing about 20 miles an hour, so the distance will be a little bit shorter than what we're seeing at 65 or at higher speeds. Get out of my way! No, you get out of my way, man! man. No, you get out of my way! <laughs> that brings us to the Triple T Tip of the Week. It's for my fellow professional drivers out there just a reminder of following distances so you have the proper braking distance when you get around dazed and confused. You never know where that guy's gonna be. So be careful out there. The proper following distance for your semi-truck is one second for every 10 feet in length of truck or one second for every 10 feet of vehicle length and one second when we hit 45 miles an hour or higher speeds. So, for a 70-foot truck, you're gonna need seven seconds of following distance, and if we're over 45 miles an hour, that means we need eight seconds. That'll give us the proper braking distance so that we can bring the truck to a complete stop within the, the 525 feet. So just remember, guys, be safe out there. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer, send it in. My email address is triple t at twilatech.edu. And if you'd like more information about the CDL program or 
the other programs offered here at Tooele Technical College, you can call us on the phone at 435-248-1800 or reach us on the web at tooeletech.edu. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember to be safe out there, dazed and confused is around, so buckle up. It could just save your life.